All right, Lady Ada, we're here and uh, we're in the manufacturing floor at Ada Fruit. Yes, that's right. And, Production, uh, manufacturing, making stuff. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello. You have some questions about the equipment. Actually, you know the answers, but you're going to ask anyways. <laughs> I know, but it's more fun that way. Yeah, so all right. Noah and Vance, yep. who are and on the production manufacturing staff, and we've got this long line. It's it's called a line, yeah. and this is a line of machinery. And we're going to start uh, piece by piece, and we're going to talk about each one. We're going to start at the beginning. It's yeah. a good place to start. Here at the this is the board loader. Board loader. Yes. Okay. Because what does it do? This is a fantastic machine. It's really simple, but the really cool thing is that it saves us a lot of time having to load each board into the machine. You mean the board loader loads boards? I mean to tell you that the board loader in fact loads amazing, boards. It's amazing. crazy. Okay, yeah. so what happens is that over here we have a stack of boards. So you see that this is actually like a whole bunch of boards. I'm going to get these back and they, mm -hmm. they're they they're up against this little metal piece here. We got like a 10, but you got, how many boards can you load into this? Too? You can load, I, I've actually never counted but you can load a huge stack. 50, 50 100. 50, 100. And that just boards, exceeds yeah. you so much time because it will load each board. Yes. And then it will pop each one. It'll pop each one. Oh, wait, it's happening now. It's happening now. Check this out. And it grabs one and Zoop. it slides it through. Okay. And there are sensors here. There are sensors on this conveyor as well as on this one. And it's connected by a cable called SMEMA which allows it to recognize, oh wait, I need to take another board now into the machine because one is already advancing into the next conveyor and so on and so forth. So Can I open this up? Or you, you can open this, okay, up. Let's open um, this up. We'll just hit this and then... Okay, yeah. pick up the safety. So, yeah, so these, each one of these boards has multiple PCBs. This is like, not only are we loading in a hundred whatever panels, mm -hmm. but each panel is also like 20 PCBs. Yeah. Okay, so then the boards get loaded into... Yes. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, there you go. Yeah. Into this machine. That's correct. This Vince, is the pick machine. it off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is where after it's done loading from the board loader, it goes into here to be sorted individually. Now, normally back in the day, we do it painstakingly by hand. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> so now this machine saves us a lot of time. And a lot of effort. So the blades individually through the holes and the stencils will sort of every last piece of the board. And then from there, it'll go into the next machine, which is the thick and place. Okay. This is the SM31. Okay, so after that, it's over, the board's over in the middle, and it's got the solder paste on it. So now it's it's got that sticky, pasty, it's like peanut butter. It's exactly. like this goop yeah. on it. Without the jelly. Without the jelly. <laughs> and then what is this machine doing? This machine, uh, so we have two pick and place machines in our line. Uh, and it, what it's doing is it's taking each part that we have on each PCB, they're very tiny, from each of these reels, these are called feeders. It's taking them through pneumatic suction and placing them very precisely onto each PCB on the panel. And it does it super fast too. And efficient too. It's very very efficient. efficient. Yeah. And this yeah. one has what ten nozzles? I this think? has ten nozzles. It's referred to actually as the chip shooter. Yeah. I think because it has ten nozzles in it and it does it really fast. Yeah, so actually you'll pick up at least ten parts at a time. Yes. That's like ten times as fast as our old pick and place, which will do one part at a time. Yeah. Alright, so you already did a cool. panel while we were chatting. That's right. the next and one. then it goes into we're the going next to one. one where okay. this one loads on a little bit heavier <laughs> than the normal one does. So from there we have bigger components that would load onto these individual boards. Thank God we don't have to do that by hand as well. Okay. <laughs> and we have two and it's like, you know, they just do half and half. Exactly, to cut down on time. Yeah. And so it can be optimized, it can easily pass the machine easily better and faster. And then how do you actually program in the machine? Like what what do you do like to program it in? Well, it's uh it's a You don't have to go through it, just kinda of talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, it's a somewhat um, involved process, but it all happens actually right here at this monitor. And uh, first we get this file, it's kind of a basically like a blueprint of uh, where all the parts need to go and all the it's called the step data. And we tell the machine, okay, you're going to place a resistor here, and a capacitor here, and a header here. And uh, then we optimize it on a different machine, and it bumps down what the machine thinks is going to be the most appropriate way to place all those parts, oh, the okay. fastest way. And then we can kind of tinker with that there. But we, 
we ordinarily trust the machine to yeah. make those good decisions. So it, it, like, it, what I do is I send you, out of EagleCAD, I export the centroid data, and uh -huh. then you guys do your magic, you figure out how to get that into the language the machine likes, and then uh, it tells you where to put the feeders, or you tell it where you, what, you know, like how does that work? Well, first it, first it can tell us where to put the feeders, yeah. but if we decide, you know what, it's better to balance the program if we have the uh, tactile button on that machine, then we can tell it where the feeders should go. Okay. And then we can, we have a lot of room to play. And right now it's telling me that okay. this part is out, so I have to see first if it in fact is, but it is not out, so we have to do a little investigating and see that the tape is caught. Oh, so you have, this is, like a, this is a very mechanical process, the it's tape. A, it, yeah, it's also a very mechanical process. It, I always find this machine astounding because though it is so precise, it's not perfect, and just like anything mechanical, it can take just a little bit of tape getting stuck to just grind everything to a halt. It's it reminds pretty amazing. me a little bit, of, you know, the, uh, the, the um, Robocop. It's like, it's like yeah. the, there's a death <laughs> robot, but like it can't handle stairs. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like it can like destroy all of humanity, but it's like, oh no, a one inch gap, <laughs> right, I cannot right. handle it. So, yeah. So even though this is very automatic, you still need to have someone checking in, looking for like what is the complaint, running out of parts. Feeder gets a little jammed. Absolutely, okay. and I mean it's it, it's it's not a one-person job either. And this is this whole line really is something that we're finding really uh, flows best with with around two or three people at all times. Okay. Yeah. So even without full automation, you, you still have to right? have the human touch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So after that, after this, this is a great, uh, great, very simple machine. Again, this is called the workstation conveyor, and it comes out here. It land, the board will land right here. Uh, this is called our inspection station. We can see here if everything has been placed correctly or not. That's correct. And we have right a book. So we do look over everything to see if all the components and factors are placed correctly. So we can match it you know, with, the, with the boards. And then from there, when everything is correct, okay. we just uh, hit the little button and we shoot it right directly Woo! into the oven. Okay. Yeah. This is where we start cooking. All right. And then down here, and tell me what's down here. Down, down here is this the, is the end. Yep, this is the conveyor belt. This is after it goes through the oven, after it's done heating up. It's warm. <laughs> yep, that's out. right. It's kind of hot. But now this is the after. See? Everything's okay. soldered into place. Everything's fine. Okay. And then these just stack them up. Yep. Get and them then ready. We just take them off there. And then from there, we go over to the tester table to make sure that it actually works. So we just take one. Directly off the panel. And there you go. Okay. There you have it. All right. Green means go. go. Yep. Green means okay. good. All right. All right. Thank you Epic. so much, Vance. And thank you, Noah. Yeah. <laughs> Zoo.